morning, Helen. Good morning, Helen. Anybody else joining us this morning for a little standing stretch and release, which I thought would be a good one to do as we're doing our March 100 Mars Challenge this month. So I thought we'd just do a standing, kind of as I say stretch and release, it's kind of like a like an active stretch, I suppose, where you do lots of movement through the stretches and then you hold the stretch. Um, so yeah, sort of like um, that, that kind of thing as opposed to just holding stretches in one position. So let's begin. Anybody else joining us? Let me know if you are on catch up, say hi in the comments um, and let me know if you enjoyed it and remember to save it um, and so that you can um, you know, keep it for another time and, and repeat it. So again, this is great again if you're, if you're active, if you're out walking a lot and we forget to stretch for walking. So um, it's a good idea to incorporate regular stretches um, into, your, um, um, into your routine, okay? So whatever you're doing, if you're exercising in any way, shape or form, please remember to stretch. It's vital, <laughs> especially as you get older. Right, okay, we're going to start right with posture. I'm a, I'm a mad one for posture, okay? My mother's 91 and she has the best posture ever. Um, she doesn't walk with a stick or anything like that. She's upright, she's only little, she's about five foot three, but um, she is my absolute idol. And um, yeah, she's uh, 91, walks perfectly well, strides out there, and um, she's always had great posture. And I just think if you've got good posture, oh, you know, it makes a hell of a lot of difference. So feet underneath, shoulders, toes forward facing. Draw yourself up tall, roll your shoulders back and down. And just imagine you've got a string attached to the top of the head, and it's just drawing you up. So it just gives you a little bit of le extra kind of length. Don't tense though, so we're not, we're not, you know, we relax, you've got to learn to relax as well. So soften the knees, distribute the weight evenly over both feet, so let's not do any of this, okay? Yeah, we need to try as much as we can to stand on both feet evenly like that, okay? Distributing the weight. We're standing up, the chest is open, we're proud, tall and proud, looking directly ahead, okay? So again, just relax. Don't squeeze your shoulder blades back and down, you're just gently rolling the shoulders, gently down, opening out that chest. Okay, we're going to start nice and gently, just with a little chin, chin to uh, chin tuck here. So breathe in. I like to work with the breath as well because it keeps it slow. So what I want you to do is just a little chin tuck here. Now start to just slide the hands down the leg, bend the knees, just roll a little bit and then come back up. So you're basically starting a little roll. Chin, tuck, and then again, knee bend. Just start to slide the hands down the thighs towards the knees. And we'll start to go a little bit further, so a little bit beyond the knees now. Hey, Natalie's on, good morning, Natalie. So again, we're just going, keeping the knees bent, but you're going a little bit beyond those knees, and heading towards the shins. Knees are nice and bent. And we're going further now. Let's see if we can go to the ankles here. Really great, this one is just great for mobilizing through the spine. Now, I want you to go down, and I want you to stay down at the bottom here. Now, let the arms just hang, hang loose, and just let the upper body gently swing from side to side. Come back to your center, breathe in, and slowly we stack bone by bone, coming all the way up. Breathe in, let's do that again. Chin to chest, bending of the knees, roll it down, take your time, don't rush. Just let the arms hang and then just a little swing from side to side. Back to the centre, breathe in, roll up slowly. Roll the shoulders, take a deep breath and then a big shoulder roll forward, up, back. And down, breathe in at the bottom, and we go again forward and up and back and down and again, all the way forward, up, back and down and again. And do that one more time. And exhale as you release the shoulders. Inhale, float the arms to shoulder height, 
As you exhale, rotate to the right. Inhale, then rotate to the left. Inhale, float the arms down. Do that again. Inhale, float up. Rotate round to the right. Center, rotate to the left. Center and down. And again. moves together. So we roll down slowly now. We hang here and we swing. Center, take a breath. We stack slowly now. And as you take your breath in, float the arms up. Rotate to the right. And rotate to the left. And rotate right. And rotate left. Breathe in, float up, arms forward, and this time you're going to reach forward, and you're going to reach back. So really stretching the upper body through those shoulders and through the chest. Let's keep that flowing now. I love this stretch. Keep the knees soft. One more time. Arms outstretched. Take that from the top, so take a breath. Let's go into that roll down. And then swing it out. Back to center, breathe in, restack slowly. And then inhale, arms up. Do that rotation. Two more. Now palms forward and reach, opening up the shoulder blades, open up the chest. One more time. And out the arms. Roll the shoulders. And again, roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders now. We're going to shrug up on the inhale. Shrug up, drop, shrug up, drop, shrug up, drop, and again. Well done. I want you to take your right foot forward. So stagger your feet. Keep those legs straight. Don't take it too wide. Don't take it too wide. Place your hands on your hips. Draw the belly in. Remember when just taking it forward, just leaning forward from the hip. Take a breath. Sticking that bum right out behind you. Halfway only. Inhale and come up. So you're literally just lowering yourself down flat back here. So feel that stretch right here through that hamstring on the front leg. Great. Again, if you've been walking or running. So this is like an active stretch where you're going into the stretch and coming out of the stretch. Now we're going to do a couple more. Then I'm going to take it down there. I'm going to take the opposite hand to the outside of that calf, the outside of the leg. Wrap it around and stretch. So let's do one more. So what I want you to do now is come down all the way. This opposite arm comes to the outside of the leg and you're gently just going to pull yourself towards the thigh. Head down. Balance required. And then take a breath. Let it go. Hands back on the hips and bring yourself all the way back up. Now step that foot now a bit further back, a bit further back, okay? Not too far, not too far. Straighten those legs, straighten the legs, hold it there. Hands back on the hips. We're gonna go again, take a breath. So we are now going halfway down as we did before, but we've just got a slightly wider gap between those legs. Feeling that in the hamstrings. Now let's go down again all the way. Take this opposite hand, 
grab behind the calf and pull yourself towards the leg. Now take those hands back on the hips, bring yourself back up. Now big step back, we're going to go calf stretch this time. So this knee now is bent. Toes are forward facing, pressing the back heel towards the floor. Now we're going to start to lift and lower the back heel up, press back. Keep the core switched on, all requires balance when you start to take those legs out. Again, if you're a little bit struggling with balance, you can always take the legs a little bit wider apart. Now do one more, then press back and try and bend that front knee just a little bit more. up, bring the feet together, and then just start to pedal those feet up and down. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So stagger again, not too big a gap first of all. Hands on the hips, breathe in. Lower yourself down halfway. Take this other arm, then place it behind, and gently draw yourself in towards that leg. Hands back on the hips, breathe in, pull yourself all the way back up. Good. Again, let's take that a little bit further back now. Keep both legs straight, take a breath, let's go again. Big step back on that other foot, and you're going to bend into the front knee. Try and keep everything forward facing. And then you're going to lift and lower that back heel. Good, now one more. Hold it down there this time. Hold it down there. Bend into that front knee a little bit more. Socket stand up tall. Just start to swing your right leg forward and back. Focus on a spot to help you balance. Now start to bend the knee as it comes up and swing back. Now I want you to grab hold of that knee and pull it up to the chest. Focus. Draw the belly in. Do the other leg, so we're just going to swing that leg forward back. And we're bending. Bend the knee as it comes up. And then grab hold of it and hike it up. Sit down and again, let's pedal those feet up and down. Now, let's take those legs wider. So, wider than shoulders, wider than shoulders. Turn the toes out a little bit, place the hands on the hips. Bring yourself to one side, bend center, bring yourself over to the other side. So, 
we start to bring that stretching out of the inner, inner thighs here. Now, if you're able to, watch it, watch it, <laughs> go wider. Last one. Now stay in centre here, keep those legs wide. Turn your toes forward. Take a breath, lower yourself half down, halfway down. Ooh, that's a good stretch. down, take both hands inside and grab behind the calf. Draw your head down, looking through those legs, hold it there. And then let it go slowly. Hands back on the hips, take a breath, feel yourself all the way down. Turn the toes out, bend your knees, keep going, keep going, keep going. Bring your arms down and gently open up those knees. Press those thighs down towards the floor. wide, slight bend and swing the arms out. Oh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of a stretch. Standing stretch just gets things oh, moving, mobile, very important. We do lots of exercise, always do your stretches, active stretches, passive stretches, make sure you're warm though. Again, don't take a stretch too far until you've warmed up into it. And then let's just bring the feet together and finish with a deep breath, reach up, bend and sweep. And again, bend and sweep. And do one more, and then you're gonna stretch, spread the fingers wide and release. Yay, you says clap, well done. Thank you ladies, Helen and Natalie for joining me live. If you're on catch up, let me know, tag me in the comments. Have a fabulous Wednesday and I'll see you all soon.